Hey everyone, we've got our favorite 2006 Chevy Aveo in here, mm. back again. <laughs> uh, we've got a misfire issue here, no engine light, um, but we are going to take a look at the spark plugs and wires to see if anything's wrong with those. And we have already been in here and we found the problem, but we'll show you exactly as we saw it. Uh, first thing we'll do is remove the engine oil cap and take a 5 mil torque socket or Allen key, sorry, five mil hex key and undo the four, uh, the four bolts holding the engine top cover on. Lift this carefully so your bolts don't go flying. All right, we can set that aside. So here are your spark plug wires. There's your ignition coil and your spark plugs are underneath those. Before we do anything here, we want to clean up the area we're working on. So let's take our engine oil cap and put that back on. And get your compressed air and give this area a spray. Let's remove the first wire. We're going to do this one at a time. Just pull up and it comes out just like that. To keep it simple here, we're going to replace these one at a time. So let's take out our first wire completely on the ignition coil end. Just give it a twist, pull up as such. And now we'll remove the first spark plug using your spark plug socket. This one here is the 5 8 Now, if you can see it down there with the rubber insert, that'll hold the uh, spark plug as it makes its way out. They don't always work, so it might be good to have a magnet one nearby. going for the magnet. All right, that's a pretty gross looking plug. Let's get one of the new ones. We went with the NGK Iridium plugs. They're a little expensive, but on the plus side, you don't have to gap them. We have put some anti-seize on the threads. So you don't need a lot. Tighten the spark plug by hand as much as you can. This is a gasket type spark plug. And according to the instructions that come with these, we're going to give these a half to two thirds turn after we've tightened it by hand. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself there. Let's put the wires on. All right, here's wire number one. 
it's uh, it's marked clearly on the wire itself. And we're gonna replace the old wire number one, which you can see there. And also the other way to tell is uh, right on the coil here. You'll see one, four, two, three. <laughs> there it is. All right, half to two thirds turn. Okay, in with wire number two. Here's what we found earlier. There's a piece there that shouldn't be. So using some needle nose pliers, we're gonna fish that out. All right, that's a piece of our spark plug wire, which is the likely cause of all the misfiring. All right, we can throw this away. And let's continue on. If your socket is giving you trouble uh, with reinstalling the plugs or it won't hold the plug in it, you can use the magnet as well to lower, lower it in and then give it a little twist and it might catch on the threads. A little more delicate than dropping it in.
That's gross. It's super gross. <laughs> All right, two of these wires sit in this track. Not sure which ones they are, can't remember. Doesn't matter, this car's cursed anyway. Three, fit. Whatever looks like it makes sense to you. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, let's go with that. All right, let's start this car up and see, uh, see if everything is as it should be. All right, that sounds good. All that's left is to put your cover back on, put your air hoses back in the tracks here. And tighten down the five, uh, the four five mil hex sockets. That's all, thanks for watching.